Hello everyone, welcome back to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we will discuss about chapter 1, Matter in our surroundings, class 9. So, what do you mean by matter? Everything surrounds you, for example, the chair, the table, the books, the mobile phone, water, air, anything which is having mass and occupies space is known as matter. Now, the book, the chair, the table, everything occupies space and they, has, they have mass, right? So we can say they are matter. But what about the air? Air is a matter or not? So let us try to verify it. Suppose you are having a balloon, okay, which is completely flatted. Now what you are doing? You are filling the air in the balloon and what will happen? The balloon will become inflated right so why it is inflated because there is air inside it and that air occupies this space inside the balloon and hence we can say that the air occupies space and anything that occupies space is known as matter okay so we can say the air is a matter the oxygen you inhale is a matter the carbon dioxide you exhale is a matter Anything that occupies space and has mass is known as matter. So here, uh, air, water, stones, sands, clouds, pencil, books, everything is made up of matter. And hence, we can say that anything in this universe that occupies space and has mass is called matter. According to the early Indian philosophers, every living and non-living thing is made up of five basic elements. So that five basic means panch tattva. Panch means five and elements means tattva. So according to an Indian philosopher, this uh, anything that matter, the matter is made up of, that is every living and non-living organism is made up of panch tattva, that is five elements that are air, water, earth, sky and fire. Air means oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, everything. Water, then earth. Earth means soil, sky and fire. So, which of this is a matter? So, here the list is given. You can see that happiness, air, sandwich, thoughts, juice and eraser from which uh, is matter. So, here happiness cannot occupy any space, right? Similarly, thoughts that right? you cannot say that I am having 2 kg of thoughts. The thoughts doesn't have any mass. Similarly, you cannot say my thoughts is of 2 GB, 5 GB, right? Because the thoughts cannot occupy any real space. That GB is also a virtual space, right? So here, thoughts cannot occupy space and it doesn't have any mass. Similarly, happiness. You cannot say I am 2 kg happy. So happiness doesn't have any mass. Similarly, happiness cannot occupy, does not occupy any space. But the air occupies space, sandwich occupies space, juice occupies space, right? Similarly, eraser occupies space. So here, air, sandwich, juice, eraser have mass and occupy space. Therefore, they are, they are known as matter. Now, is this matter is continuous or it is particulate? Particulate means it is made up of particles. So you can see the wall around you of your house. You can see that the wall in, on the wall there is a plaster right and it is a continuous but if you try to break that plaster you will find that that wall is made up of brick so it is not continuous it is made up of brick now try to look at the brick and try to break the brick bring it from outside and break it you will find that the brick is also made up of small small particles Similarly, anything, for example, chalk, when you buy a new chalk, you will find that the chalk is continue. But when you start using it, you will find some dust. So where this dust comes from? Because the chalk is made up of these small, small dust particles. Right, chalk is not continuous. So similarly, anything around you, if you uh, watch it with the help of microscope, if you see it with the help of microscope at microscopic level, you will find that anything around you is made up of small, small particles known as atoms, molecules. Right, so we can say that matter is not continuous. It is particular, that is, it is made up of small, small particles. Here also one example is given that if we put a drop of red color in water 
right suppose there is a, a red color right a small amount of red color and that red color if you try to put it into water then you will find that the water becomes completely red now as the water becomes completely red so what is happening this red color is spreading it spreads it's divided into large number of small particles hence we can conclude that the matter is made up of very very small particles now if this matter is made up of very small particles then what is the size of these particles so let us try to perform an activity to identify what is the size of these particles to so just have an idea about that so what we will do first we will take a potassium permanganate which is the molecular formula is KMNO4 like a salt we have salt which is having molecular formula NaCl sodium chloride so similarly KMNO4 is a kind of salt which is known as potassium permanganate they are having small small crystals right very small like a sugar okay or somewhat larger than that so that two or three crystals we will take and then we will dissolve them into a beaker of 100 ml water so here it is there now we will get a deep purple color solution of potassium permanganate in that water now then what we will do see why we get this uh, purple solution because the two or three crystals of potassium potassium permanganate spreads divided into the solution right now we will take approximately 10 ml of this solution we will take 10 ml from this solution and then we will dissolve in another 90 ml clear water in second beaker due to this the color of the potassium permanganate solution in the second second beaker becomes bit lighter so here you can see that the solution it becomes lighter here it is dark purple right but in this you will see it is it becomes lighter so what is happening here first it was a clear water now when you uh, put this uh, when you uh, try to put this solution dissolve this solution 10 ml into 90 ml water you will find that this uh, 10 ml of the potassium permanganate uh, spreads in the 90 ml water and you will find that the solution becomes light pink now again we will repeat the same activity again we will take 10 ml from this solution and try to uh, dissolve it in the 90 ml clear water and we will repeat until we will get the clear water so what is happening here that the potassium permanganate the few crystal of potassium permanganate can change the color of a large volume of water so we can conclude that there must be millions of tiny particles in just one crystal of potassium permanganate which keep on dividing themselves into smaller and smaller particles and hence we can say that the potassium permanganate is made up of very 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 tiny particles and hence we can conclude that all the matter around us is made up of same kind of tiny particles now if these particles this matter is made up of these small particles then what is the characteristics or what are the characteristics of these particles characteristics means features so whenever we are going to buy a smartphone or anything we ask them what is the capacity that is what is the internal storage of the mobile phone what is the RAM? what is the megapixels of the camera right everything we are asking so what we are asking we are asking about the features we are asking about the characteristics so what are the characteristics of these particles of matter so first characteristic that we have discussed in the last slide that is particles of matter are very tiny in size that is they are very smaller now also they have space between them and for this we have to discuss another activity so here we have a beaker filled with water and you can see that the water is up to this level now what we will do we will pour some salt into it right and then we will find that the level of the water a bit comes at some up right it comes to some level up now after some time we will find that the water again back to the same level so why does this happen see initially what we were having we were having water in a beaker so let us assume that these are the particles of water these are small small particles of water now 
when we dissolve the salt in it then the salt will occupy the space between these water molecules and we we can we can say that the salt dissolve into the water so actually the particles of this salt occupy the space between the particles of the water molecules and hence we can conclude that there is some space between the particles of water now third characteristics the particles of matter move constantly move constantly means they are in a random motion they move from one place to another place or they move or they vibrate about their mean position for example if you if if we talk about gas then a perfume or a spray or a deodorant so whenever in a classroom or anywhere in our home also if someone use the spray the deodorant then if we are in the another room then we are getting a smell why because this uh, molecules of that deodorant or that uh, perfume uh, spray they move continuously they move very fast they move randomly in all direction and hence we can get this smell so we can say that the particles are moving but what if there is a solid so the solid particles if there is a solid right let us assume that this is a solid particle right this is a box which is solid and it is consist of small small particles now when you heat these particles then what will happen suppose i am providing some heat from this side suppose it is a stainless steel and if you provide heat from this side then what will happen the particle here there is a particle that particle will vibrate this particle will vibrate and it will transfer its energy to the nearby particle then this particle vibrate and, and it will tra transfer its energy to the nearby particle and at a time we will feel heat at this position so what is happening the particles of these solid are also vibrating about their mean position means at their own position they are vibrating if there is a water molecules they can also move randomly but if there is a gas molecule they can move randomly in all the direction so here you can see that there is an incense stick right so the particles of the incense sticks moves in all direction and we get the smell or a fragrance or a pleasant smell from the agarbatti or incense stick similarly the four characters fourth characteristics is the particles of matter attract each other that is they are held by a very strong attractive force for example there is a there are two magnets right let us assume that two magnets very strong one is a north another another uh, having south pole both are that is two magnets north south poles are kept nearer then we will find that the north south pole attract each other that you have experienced at right? the unlike pole of the magnet attract each other similarly there is a iron nail and it is made up of very small particles right now if we try to break that iron nail then what will happen it is very difficult to break that iron nail iron nail why because the uh, particles of iron nail are held by a very very strong attractive force so it is very difficult that is if that if these are the particles of iron nail and if we try to break the iron nail with our hand then it is very difficult because these two particles these two particles these two particles are held by a very very strong force of attraction but what if we try to break the chalk we can easily break so the uh, particles of the chalk are not that much strongly attracted towards each other but they are attracted that's why the chalk is we chalk is complete right otherwise it may be like a dust similarly here rubber band right if we try to stretch the rubber band it won't break easily right it becomes uh, wider it 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 becomes stretch so why because the particles of the matter attract each other so here we can see that the matter that requires greater strength are held together with a greater force while the others are held together by a weaker force this proves that the particles of matter attract each other if they are not if they are not attracting each other then what will happen the iron nail can break easily the chalk can break easily right everything in this world you will not find in a uh, solid state you will find everything in a powder right but you see that everything is hard and it is a completely in a one shape because the 
पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर्स आर हेल्ड बाय अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्स ओके सो नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू आंसर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर मैटर सो हियर चेयर एयर लव स्मेल हैट आलमंड्स थॉट कोल्ड कोल्ड ड्रिंक स्मेल ऑफ परफ्यूम ऑल आर गिवन सो वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच ऑफ दिस थिंग्स इज अ मैटर सो वी कैन क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई दैट चेयर ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस राइट एयर ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस आलमंड ऑक्यूपाई स्पेस स्मेल ऑफ परफ्यूम सी स्मेल ऑफ परफ्यूम कंसिस्ट ऑफ सम गेसियस पार्टिकल्स राइट एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज अ मैटर एंड कोल्ड ड्रिंक आर मैटर सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर मैटर बट द लव cannot occupy space smell smell is a feeling it cannot occupy any space similarly hate hate it it, it also a feeling it cannot occupy any space similarly thought right cold cold is just a feeling but cold drink cold drink like thumbs up coca cola all these things are cold drink thumbs up and coca cola they occupy space and has mass so we can say the cold drink is also a matter but the cold cold is just a feeling it cannot occupy any space so here you can see that uh, the sensation of the smell is not a matter whereas the smell of perfume is a matter since the smell spreads in the gaseous state and the oral perfume is a liquid with volatile particles volatile means the particles which can evaporate easily right so the particles of that perfume are gaseous particles and that gaseous particles spreads right so we can say that the smell of a perfume is a matter but only smell is not a matter now let us try to look at the another question question number 3 what is given here a diver is able to cut through the water in a swimming pool which property of matter does this observation shows so here water is also a matter we know that right and we know that the particles of matter have space between them that we have concluded with the activity of salt and water in case of a fluid the space between the particle is large enough and due to this it becomes easier for a diver to cut through the water in a swimming pool so here you can see that the diver is cutting the water you cannot cut the solid try to uh, cut the table with your hand try to cut the uh, wall with your hand it is very difficult but to cut the water with our hand is very easy because the there is a space and the force between the particles of water is very weak and hence we can cut the water now what are the characteristics that also we have a that also we have discussed that particles of matter are very small that is they are tiny they have space between them they are moving constantly and the particles of matter also attract each other now in the next next lecture we will discuss about states of matter that is solid liquid gas plasma and bose einstein condensate till then have a nice